Welcome to part 22. Part 22 is quite a, mi a mix match of different videos because we've got bits of videos from when I was doing the console, we've got bits of videos from rapping, bits of videos from you know, all sorts of stuff. Um, but I'm going to stick this video up as it is now and then once we're finished we'll do a super reveal because I originally wanted to get the super wrapped for this video. It's off being wrapped but it's not finished so I'll stick this video up with how it looks at the moment and then when it's wrapped and finished, which will be after my holiday in a few weeks time, um, I shall um, reveal it. So we'll have a whole new video where we'll go somewhere and reveal it all for you. So check this video out. Uh, if you like it, please like, subscribe and you know, see you soon. Put all that back in the boot. Uh, we've got that that goes on last. That goes in the boot somewhere. All of that goes in the boot somewhere, and so does that one that's found on the floor. So we're going to start putting the plastics back in the boot. Because we've had a few drives now, and uh, it could do with having its plastics in there because it's quite noisy, so it'll help keep the noise down. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put the plastics back in. This line we've gone back in time, the car's stripped again. But this time, it's ready for its vinyl. All I'm saying is. You can't tell it's got a vinyl on this video, you know. That's wait till it goes in sunlight. The first panel's done. Mm. The first panel's done. It just there's only like a slight bit of difference on the camera. If you, if you come, if you get your camera angle out here, you get the perfect. Oh, hang on, yeah, it's coming in. Yeah, it, well, I get the perfect across the bottom, green across the top. Yeah, looks pretty cool though. It's Mate, angular light here, like I said to you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still white on here. Got two panels done there. It's horrible the cameras don't pick proper colours. Yeah, wait till it's back out in some light. But that's the only What you doing, boy? Well, getting stereo ready. So we can have a bit of music tomorrow. <laughs> with my with my one speaker. Yep. <laughs> still haven't sourced any speakers that you want. Nope. Because you've been picky. Yep. And oh. hopefully all the dash will go back in today. Yeah. And the CD player will be in to stay. Uh, as in terms of wrap, we have a door, a wing, a door and a wing on the other side. And Jez is currently helping us do the bonnet. Well, I say helping us. <laughs> he couldn't do the bonnet. <laughs> oh yeah. I did do a fuel cap, yeah. I did the hardest bit. I can't wait for this to be finished and be outside. Because you see the colour. Yeah, we'll have to put the door handles and mirrors back on white for the time being. We can't split them down at the moment. No idea how to split. <clears throat> Well, I can get the mirrors to split, but you have to cut the wires and then like solder them back together, which is a bit weird. Doesn't sound right. <clears throat> no, it doesn't sound right. And the handles are just crazy. Anyone on YouTube knows how to split these handles? Please tell me. <laughs> Quite possibly, but you know, then other people would not. Because we can't wrap the handles if we can't split them. Anywho, I'll let him carry on, he's a busy man. What I've got myself here are some supposedly high temperature super decals by Emo uh, from Australia. And these go on the brakes and they go here. Uh, if you remember when we painted the brakes and we chipped off all the paint on the front, you remember that the brakes were red and then we chipped it off, it said super underneath, it still probably will say super underneath. So I just thought I decided to stick the super logo back on. So I'm not really going to show you me sticking the sticker on because it's me sticking the sticker on. But I'll just show you once I've finished. And there we have it, just a nice simple touch. But it says super like it used to on its brakes. I've only put it on the front ones because the front ones have got bigger calipers and the rears are a bit small. So. Yeah, you can see it sticks out quite well in the wheel. Uh, I have another project to do now. 
I have a new gear gator plus I'm sure you've seen the horrible crappy one that we did have uh, I've already melted off the ring that was on the back of our uh, gear surround turn it upside down not see the colour then so yes I've took the ring off um, so it's quite simple to attach the new one Um, we have to like make some little tiny holes and just fit the gear gate to make sure it gets trapped here because then it melts back on this way I use a soldier iron to melt the plastic to set the ring off so all I need to do is put the gear gator through the hole line it up and in theory press them little spiky bits back through the leather and then melt it back onto here again and should be good so that's what I'm going to do next so it's time for a little bit of a reveal. I'm pretty sure most of you would have guessed anyway what colour I've painted the dashboard. Um, yeah, I did go against what quite a lot of you said, but I liked it too much. <laughs> so I've got a purple dashboard. Um, yeah, I really like it to be honest. I'll have to fi finish it off by taking the trim off the door, around the door switches there. I'm painting that purple because then it'd be purple all the way around, but I didn't think about that so I just looked at it. Um, CD players in place. There, I need to get another blank because uh, I only have two blanks because I had the switch for the Active Aero. Obviously, I've removed that switch. So instead of having like two blanks in the hole, I thought stuff it. I'll have three holes for the time being. Then when I get a third blank, I'll paint them all up and then I'll put them in place. Uh, including the top piece. Top piece has been painted because I know some people don't. I don't know why. But I painted all the way across to the other side, as you can see. A little light flashing at you. Um, obviously, I've painted my manual handbrake, manual handbrake, manual gear sticks around. That's what I'm after. That's in matching purple too. And I've just fitted its nice new, um, uh, yeah, gear gator. There we go. I will remember. I might get itself a new shiny knob though. Right, we'll see. But it says TRD. Some of you know what that is. The only thing I'm missing is my ashtray because. It looks minging and it's scratched, so I need to prep it and sand it and do all that business and then eventually that will be purple and that will join as well. I haven't painted the, the handbrake surround because it's rubber and the paint will just crack, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I may just leave it black because it's not a bad thing, it's not like you really notice it. Um, so yeah, inside the car looks pretty, pretty good to be honest. I only have one speaker because I still haven't bought any speakers. And Chris has wired it up, there it is, to um, the rear past, uh, driver's side speak, uh, cable in. So at least I have one speaker in the car for now. But yeah, the car's coming along, it's about ready for drag racing, it just needs to be wrapped. And you can't tell what colour that is up there, it's good. Because the bonnet's actually wrapped, so. <laughs> Oh, PBS prep thing, yeah. Well, I'm trying to record while you're recording. Either way, it's two weeks after the last time we was here with the car doing more wrap work. Uh, I've done a night shift last night and I'm still up. It's now getting on for 11 in the morning. I'm very tired. But we have Jazz back. Um, we're supposed to be drag racing this tomorrow. I say we're supposed to be, we are drag racing this tomorrow. Well, however it looks. Um, Everybody out there that paddy fits, you've been having for the last week. I have had some paddy fits. I am not drag racing if I've got a blue bumper. Yeah, but as it got closer to the time, I just won a drag race. I knew you would. Yeah, well, you just get the bug, don't you? I've got to go more than once this year. And I've got a few <laughs> fans bugging you. Well, maybe. What? Maybe. Well, 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 maybe. But all hate them. So, this back quarter, it's a massive back quarter. Uh, it's pretty much done. Uh, in the house we have the skirts and the spoiler with a bit of luck but it's all down to this man here we might get the other side on and hopefully the boot what do you reckon Jazz? hopefully I mean well, stuff bumpers will do that another time but if the rest of the cars are in the same colour then you know it's a little better yeah we have a wheel off because we have a brake issue every time you accelerate this brake wants to stop you because the caliper seized and that's not going to be good for drag racing tomorrow because it's probably going to knock a second off my time and burn my disc out 
Um, so we're currently trying to remedy that. Um, this is still part 22, which I started filming like three weeks ago. Really? Yeah. You haven't put a video on this week, have you? No. I'll oh, put the boost gauge video on. I haven't made it. Coil over video? Nope, I made that one. I'm saving them for a particular, two particular weeks. You know, when I'm oh, away. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, why I'm Because I've got videos that I can stick up. Like last week. Remove that bit out of video then. No, it's cool. Did, did this probably not go up for another week, so. Um, yeah, I'm currently uploading the video onto the Facebook page anyway, so there you go, that's your video for this week. Uh, yeah, look, see you on this screen. Press play. I'm seeing video in video. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> that's your preview. So, thank you for watching part 22. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the boys for coming around and helping me uh, get it ready for Santa Pod as well, for the drag racing. Uh, I'd also like to thank Jez for coming around and helping me wrap the car because I can assure you I wouldn't have done it without him. Because it's hard work, like really hard work. Um, yeah, thank you very much for your lot, your lot coming around and helping me, much appreciated. Thanks for Chris for sticking up with me after my 12 hour night shift and being moody. Um, yeah, thanks very much for coming around and much appreciated guys. Um, if you have any issues or you want to chat about the car, um, can you, you know, if you can't wait to see what the car's gonna look like all wrapped up, you know, give us a give us a like, you know, tell me tell me that you can't wait, you know, and I'll get a reveal up as soon as it's as soon as the car's ready, we'll stick a reveal video up for you. So please like, subscribe, uh, much appreciate you, all your subscribers, all your followers, you know, our channel's still growing, so I really appreciate all the hard work that you guys do watching all of our videos. That's it's much appreciated and you know I like the fact that you like our videos, so you know if you like it, please tell us. We'll make more. So like, subscribe, we'll see you in another video. Peace dudes.